Hello class, my name is Riley Wilson, and today I will be presenting on Philip Johnson, who once said, Architecture is the art of how to waste space. Background Johnson was born on July 8, 1906, in Cleveland, Ohio, which is where he grew up. He went on to attend the Hackley School in Terrytown, New York, before continuing as an undergraduate at Harvard University. In 1927, he completed his studies and graduated with a degree in philosophy. After Harvard, he went on a trip to Europe, which is where he developed his love for architecture. In 1932, he was appointed the director of the Department of Architecture at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. During this time, he joined up with Henry Russell Hitchcock in composing a book called The International Style, architecture since 1922. Later, in 1940, he returned to Harvard to study architecture under Marcel Brewer. However, his most influential mentor was Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, whom he worked alongside on the Seagram Building in New York City, which completed in 1958. Here are a few pictures of the Seagram Building. As you can see, it is a tall rectangular shaped building with a lot of uh, windows on the exterior. For Johnson's architectural philosophy, he was a minimalist who worked with modern aesthetic, but he also alluded to 18th and 19th century architects in his work, and in the 1960s he began including more domes and curvature forms into his works, however his overall career style was the international style which developed in the 1920s and 30s and came over from Europe and it has to do with the transparency of the building and its structure and many architects today say that the style was defined by Hitchcock and Johnson's works. Johnson was part of the modern movement which was from 1925 to around 1950 and it began in Europe but soon came over to the US and included the introduction of the Art Deco style, the Modern style, and the International style. Um, this was between the World Wars and it introduced bold rectangular shapes uh, with a lot of exterior windows. Johnson once said, don't build a glass house if you're worried about saving money on heating. And he is alluding to his own house, uh, which we will get to in the next slide. So this is the Glass House, which is located in New Canaan, Connecticut. It was designed from 1945 to 1948, and construction was completed in 1949. It follows the international style and is 55 feet long by 33 feet wide. It has a total square footage of just over 1,800 square feet. The glass house was built as Johnson's personal home on his private estate and it overlooks a pond from the top of a hillside. It is secluded from the road as the only privacy is provided by the trees because of the glass walls. The materials included steel, glass, and red brick, which were considered industrial and they were chosen to influence a more modern style. This project was mainly focused on positive space as the interior space is defined by the walls which are transparent to connect to the exterior space which is surrounded by walls on the sides and the back while the front is shaped with pathways that connect to the driveway and surrounding buildings. Here is another sketch of the site plan. Here are the east and north elevations. More elevations. Here is an image that shows the sections of the house. And here is a top-down view of the previous image. And finally, here is a 3D sketch of the building. Many say that the inspiration of Johnson's glass house came from the Farnsworth house, 
which was designed and constructed by his mentor, Van der Rohe, which also followed the international style. Finally, my question for the audience is, do you enjoy the aesthetics of the modern movement and the international style of architecture? And if so, what aspects of the glass house would you like to incorporate into your own style?